Hello everyone, in this particular video, I will be talking about how to pre-fill dates in a Google form. Now, some of you might be having difficulties in filling in dates as is, as in when you have to pick a date from a row and fill it as a pre-filled link in a Google form. The easiest option is basically to use a question, which is basically of a short answer type, and then just fill in the numbers and then when you have the numbers in the response sheet, you can basically then convert the numbers as a date. Now, if you really need to fill in the dates as a date itself, in that case, what you need to do is you need to basically wrap the values in a text function and just note that Google form when you're pre-filling it will only accept the dates in this year, month and day format. So you need to basically use this text function to actually be able to do this. Let's look at this practically. I'm going to go to these three dots. I'm going to click on this get prefilled link. Here you need to fill in some details. Let's say I'm going to do AA, BB and let me just take some random dates for now. And I'm going to click on get link. I'm going to copy this link here. I'll come back to this particular form. And here I'm just going to show you the link as is. So this is basically the entire link that I just copied from here to here is basically the form ID. And each of these questions have a unique question ID, which is basically these numbers. Okay. So this one was for item code. This one was for date as number. And this one was basically for date as date. Now what we are going to do is we are going to use this code, replace it within this sample formula that you know I have already created. Now wherever you see this cell references, you basically need to put a quote ampersand sign activate the ranges basically and then put another ampersand sign and put a double quote. This will pick the values from those columns. So I see I've already made a mistake here. Uh, instead of AA, I should have basically picked BB because item code is what I want here. So I'm going to make this B colon B. And now the second one is going to be C colon C and the last one is basically going to be D colon D. So let's go ahead and just do that quickly. Okay, I have just done it here and here. So now whatever date is there in column D will be picked up as year, month and date. And whatever date is there in column C will basically be picked up as a number. Let's go ahead and submit a form to get this activated. I'm going to click on the preview I'm going to just say test here I'm going to let's say just put a number saying 44,000 and let me just pick a random date and submit this once I've submitted this now look at this uh, the item code has been filled here test date as number has come in now here if I want to see this as a date what I can do is I can simply change the format it is telling me 18 June 2020. That was the 44,000th day from 31st December 1899 in Google Sheets. And here is the actual date that I've put in. Now, if I need to submit it, I'm simply going to click on the submit button. Now you see all of this has been pre-filled in just to ensure that we are getting the correct values. I'm going to just change these dates and let me call this test2 and when I submit, I should see the form also update. Now this is one problem here that you know when you have these dates in a number format, sometimes you know you will just have to change the format to actually see the date. You can also write another array formula here in the side to basically convert these numbers as date. But for all practical purposes, you don't even need to convert these numbers as dates because if you want to use it as a date anywhere else when you're pulling in the details it would work as dates 
So thank you. I hope this helps.